So sometimes it's already been translated for you, and they just want to know what was the translation, what was the rule. And um, sometimes they can ask you for it to be in like word notation. Other times they want it to be in arrow notation. Let's just show you both of them. Um, the first thing is pick one point, one of the original ones. Okay, so we'll choose A. Don't choose a prime point. Choose one of the original ones. And then track it. Uh, with left, right, up, down movements to its new version of prime. Okay, so since I chose A, I want to go find A prime. So it's kind of like using your slope movements that we looked at with linear equations. Uh, let's see, let's, I'm going to have to go to the right. One, two, three, four. So I'll make a quick note, A, four units to the right. And then we're going to have to go up, it looks like. So one, two, three. So up three, okay? Hey, there's your word notation right there. There's your translation rule. Four units to the right and three up. We can live with that. What if they said, please put it in arrow notation? Well, you start with parentheses, x comma y parentheses. It always starts right here. It's never gonna change. Then draw a little arrow to the right. And then with the parentheses right here, ask yourself, was there any left or right movement? Since we went to the right, we'd say x plus four. If it was to the left, we'd say x minus however many to the left. Then ask yourself, was there any up-down movement? Since it was 3 up, we're going to say y plus 3. If it was 3 down, we'd say it's y minus 3. Close it with parentheses. Remember, there is that parenthesis, uh, the uh, comma between those. So that's arrow notation. It's the exact same way as describing the word notation. Now, you don't have to use a. If you notice, I could use B and go 4 to the right and up 3 to get B prime and get me the same rule. We could also do the same with C.